on, everyone? I'm really excited because whoa, 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 whoa. James. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's, in what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? We have to play the YouTubers on what's yeah. in the box. 1970, 1995. What movie? Uh oh. Seven. What's in the box? What's <laughs> yeah, his wife's head. What if, <laughs> when the Paltrow's head is not in this box. But my man Jay is out from California with some good friends. You got Walter over there. You can show him, Brandy. Go ahead. Uh, Brandy is, is behind the camera. Flip the camera, Brandy. Hey! <laughs> so we're having fun today. I'm really excited. Uh, but you guys have been following the Indian uh, Python saga. And we're going to have Jay look at this snake and tell me what's going on with it. I think the snake has been doing better. But I, it still hasn't eaten, bud. And I want you tell me about the Indian python, bud. Like, you know. Okay, I, I want to tell one quick story. Okay. Probably in real life, the only reason why I'm a hardcore snake guy is because my first love was an Indian python. Really? You didn't know that. Did I you? did not know that, man. So Very cool. It was. It, this is a pure-blooded Indian, by the way. Uh, I can tell just by looking at it. She's wrapping around. Uh, she is acting a little crazy. But here's the weird part about Indian pythons: a natural reaction is to guard their head and beat the hell out of you and strike at you when they get a chance. I didn't know that. Okay. Unfortunately, cause... Indian pythons are not known to be tame. Okay. <laughs> oh. They're not a Burmese. They may look like a Burmese. They may be python. Py they're python malorus. They're not bivitatis. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. So different behavior. They can right. tolerate cooler temps as well. They can tolerate cooler temps. They they're typically much more aggression, much much more aggressive. Okay, which I is mean, what we've been seeing. And much more aggressive. Okay. Uh, it, by the one I'm watching, she's not a very nice snake. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's. I see you just, get her out of here. Yeah. Now here's a real python guy. This is okay? where. This is where I bleed. Hopefully, I don't bleed. Do you guys want me to bleed? If you want me to bleed, no, 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 go we, watch a different, different oh, please, channel. Please, let's not bleed. Well, number she's, one, how does she actually, look? So you know what? Her health looks great. She's got good body weight. It's weird, dude, because she hasn't eaten. Okay. I've had her for like well, six months. Okay. Man. Well, here's the funny thing about it. They, you know, you maybe you're in Florida. You may have to put this in an air-conditioned room. Get out of here. Yeah. It, it sounds funny. Uh, I even had problems with, with retics. They don't like it so hot. Oh my see, gosh. she's trying to block herself. So you see, the most important thing to block is her head, right? Okay, right. There's, if, if you know, she does act a little crazy. I want you to see her move because right. the way she moves is odd. Now, so something, she might have a little problem, a neurological problem slightly, okay. but I'll tell you, it, it's mimicking the actual way some of these act. Okay. So I, I, it's not as bad as, you know, you said that you, you said that there's been a little bit of issue. I'm not seeing as much of an issue as I thought I would see. Oh, cool. I don't see any weight issue, which doesn't mean anything. Uh, one thing you'd know is when she does start eating, and, and it just, I would do is get a cool in. Get the cool, I'd cool her down a bit. Yeah, like basically give her one in that's like about about 89, but the other in like 74. Get out of here, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And uh, if that doesn't strike her appetite up, uh, if she has a neurological problem that maybe happened before you got her, right. uh, the weird part about neurological things, they can linger for years. And they can, and they actually can get over them. Well, you know, here's the thing. Like I mentioned, I, I use seven dust as a mite preventative. Right. And she was, you know, I doused her with the seven dust. I've done that before and never had an issue. Did I do something I've wrong? I've used seven dust my whole life. I don't, haven't used it in a lot of years because okay. now they have other things. Uh, but as a rule, chemically speaking, if, if a chemical gets on them, so the, see, the rolling isn't real normal. The head protection is real, real normal. Come on, girl. So. You know, I'm looking at her. See, she's acting. She strikes too good. I don't know. But that's sign widening. I, I don't know. That's kind of the way they are. Really? My first one looks like it was from the same lineage, and it was the meanest snake I ever owned in my life. I was never able to tame it down. It was always more worried about biting me than eating. Never grew fast. Perfect snake. Uh, literally looks like the same lineage. Well, you know, when Tom offered her to me, I had to say yes because, you know, a pure Indian python. By the way, these are endangered species. They're appendix one. They're, they're the reason why I've literally got into reptiles. Get out of here. That's uh, awesome. I, most people don't know that. You it's know? a beautiful snake, and, you know, I wanted it because I'd love to display it at our new sanctuary that we're building, Kyle and I. And I just thought, hey, this is another type we can show a relative of the Burmese python, and I thought it would be a good Very education close, animal. If they can interbreed, no problem. Wow. You would never want to do that. No, we want to keep the language. Yeah. It's kind of silly. Uh, I wish there were some Indians in California, to be honest. I'm having a hard time trying to replace the ones that I had years and years ago. And uh, man, this one's pure-blooded, absolutely gorgeous. 
There's, a, there's they have another, it's called a Selenese python that looks very similar, except they're they're more brick reddish color, okay. more tiger. This has a little bit of influence Selenese look to it, but it's not a Selenese, doesn't have any Selenese in it. And they actually they actually classified them as Python Meloris uh, Pembera instead of Meloris Meloris. Okay, cool. And so they did break them apart, but they used to be the same. But one comes from an island, Sri Lanka, and right. the other one's a mainland. This is a mainland. Gotcha. And they're both S they're both, like I say, my one of my favorite snakes. I don't I think that this snake, if it even has some damage from something in the past, that it has a great possibility of so when a snake gets a neurological problem due to chemicals over all it takes is a hot day. If you get it like a person can get a heat stroke, a snake can get a heat stroke. Okay. It, uh, basically, there's some brain damage that can happen. It can happen from heat. It can even happen from too large a meal. So the food rots in their stomach. Basically, chemicals, the rotting, decaying food goes through the brain. Boom. Burns a little bit of the brain out. Now, the funny part is, is if they can swallow, it usually never affects whether they're hungry or not, by the way. They usually will still grab their food. They'll wrap it up. They'll drop it all the time. They won't swallow it. But what will happen is if they start to swallow it, even if they're really messed up, this is not really messed up. Okay, but good. even if they're really like head leaning, crazy, you, to be, they can totally get over it. Because what they wow. do is they just like you. If you have a stroke, right? Yep. A stroke is when you get a piece of your brain messed up. It rewires itself. They learn how to. They relearn how to swallow. They relearn how to kill. They relearn how to do it all. And long as their body doesn't give out on them beforehand, then they they rejuvenate and they. And this one has no weight issues at all. It has, I see no issues. Awesome. I'm really excited. I know you guys have been following the saga of the angry <laughs> Indian python for a long time now. And I'm so happy that Jay showed up here. Because we talked about it. I've been in touch with you about this snake. Absolutely. And until, and pardon me, the garbage men have come here. So we're yelling but over that's them. that's okay. We're still happy. We don't mm -hmm. care. <laughs> we're learning a great deal. And I love this. This is why I love having folks like these come over. Because, you know, obviously Jay's speciality is snakes. Okay? My um, first love right here. That's so cool. So I'm getting a wealth of information just having him visit. And I now feel so much better about this snake. So I'm going to take your advice. I'm going to create a cool spot. I'll create a cool um, spot. Because that, that, you know, what the problem is, is the snake room, you guys have seen before, it's my least favorite room. You're in room. Florida. It's a hot box, man. It's I think freaking, it's a little I'm too warm. Here. Look at my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it might be too warm for this particular species. So we're going to create something a little bit more adequate for it. Uh, and then, of course, when we bring it over to the new sanctuary, they're going to have incredible The funny part habitats. is too warm for the species that can handle colder than Burmese python gotcha. that live here. But it's not really. It's just that when they're above ground, they can't go into heavy brush all of a sudden the temperatures are different so you know lower the cage put right. it in the lowest cage put it on the concrete and Might all of a sudden cooler. all of a sudden you created a cool end everything this is a great idea for everybody this snake to be honest is almost mimicking the first one i ever owned that's in my amazing life. man the the side head the you sideways know biting the the it's so this i think is probably a very natural way an indian python can act it's not a burmese python and i'll tell you they don't act like burmese pythons cool so it's a different species it, it they're really different to breed they're really different to, they're even though they can interbreed doesn't mean they're the same snake so, so this is really cool guys again uh you know this is really neat there's uh how many different species of snakes out there there's oh my thousands isn't god there? i don't even have a yeah clue. There, there are thousands so some lay eggs yeah. Some are live bears. Right. It's some just live in trees. Some live on the ground. But it's amazing, <laughs> and that's what I was getting at. Is it's it's impossible for any one person to know everything about all reptiles, and that's anybody why it's so that knows, important. Anybody that knows anything, yeah. everything, is knows someone nothing. you don't want to exactly. Someone you don't want to learn. listen to. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it's great that Jay shows up on my channel and schools me a bit on large constrictors. Uh, you know, because I have uh, the Burmese python, no problem. I could pull her out. She's a great snake. I've had some nasty ones that I've tamed down. Absolutely. I've just been feeling like a rank amateur with this snake and it's so funny a lot of people were angry because I you know I pulled her out by the back but you know listen man the, uh, these snakes you when they hit you they I hit you hard it. and the truth of the matter is this snake can come back on you really fast so I use the tail half just as if it was a venomous snake because it gives me three four five feet all of right safety zone well I'll tell you what since you think this snakes looking good I'm really happy about this we got a little video with Jay I'm so pumped 
Why don't you do this, folks? Uh, go follow Jay at Prehistoric Pets. We'll have a link in the description, uh, plus his Instagram, Jay at Prehistoric Pets on Instagram. And, you know, my buddy Walter, we're going to do some fun. Point the camera over there, that nice zoo fine young man. <laughs> we're going to do some fun stuff with him. Uh, he's a zookeeper and an animal the bar, trainer. Guy. And then uh, you might want to follow, follow him where on uh, Instagram? It's Walter Tavares. Walter Tavares, yeah. Tavares. All right. And, of course, Safari Brandy holding the camera. Brandy, oh, give yourself yeah. a shout out. Hey. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. I've got all the cool mammals. Anybody, anybody <laughs> that rescues the animals. Yeah, anybody that rescues animals and films. Oh, I well, forgot about the snake. She's getting, so ready. <laughs> she's getting ready to. Woo! <laughs> so oh, before I we go, <laughs> before we go, we're gonna just show you guys uh, how we get it in the box. Here's an expert. Uh, should I try? Would that be better, or what do you think, buddy? Maybe watch me do it once. Let's watch you do it. We're gonna can, keep filming. And then when you can put it back away. <laughs> that sounds good, guys. Whoa! Hey there. So just let you know, I really think the snake is fine because it's perfect on its target. You see, I knew what it was gonna do before it did it. Okay. If it was messed up, it wouldn't do what I expected it to do. Okay. It's it targeted you the way it should. It struck correctly. It was a great, perfectly straight strike. The only reason why it's holding this, I don't even think it has any neuro neurological issues at all, to be honest. See, it's waving its tail right there because it wants me to be dumb enough to worry about that. Yeah. So he can, she can get me there. So, so see, this, this is great, guys. This is the way, this is the way they go. See, she sees literally, she's targeting, she's trying to protect her head. It's incredible, right? Look at it. See? <laughs> you almost brought the farm on that one. Nah, right? I didn't even look that way. I knew to jump. Well, this is great, guys. I'm really excited. We're going to watch him put the snake away. And then, uh, if you wouldn't mind, hit like and subscribe. We got good news here for the Indian Python. And don't beat this guy up when oh, he picks it up matter. by the back end. But I you can, can beat it. me up because I can really take it. All right. <laughs> here we go. Okay, here we go. She's gonna come back on me probably. Yeah, I tell us to, what you're doing. I try to use an advantage. Look at you. Just point it away like a gun. You know what? Ready. That's the barrel. This is the butt. So if I point it away and I keep turning when it, it strikes at me. Oh boy. Oh no, boy. it's not gonna strike that way, I can tell. Because the way she's angled here. Yeah. Very cool. So I'm gonna try to get, she's kind of a little bit big. So I get her a little bit further up, which we can, there you go. All right, man. There you awesome. go. Awesome. This is good stuff. You want to pull her out? All right. Do you want me to pull her out? I want to see blood. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. This is how we have to do it, guys. We have to. I have to be able to work with these animals. And honestly, handling her is going to get her more understanding that oil, but is going to hurt her. There we go. All right. So far, so good. Beautiful. All right. What do you mean? That was professional. Is that good? Come on, girl. Right. And everyone gets. She is looking so much better. She looks fabulous. All right, let's do it. Let's get her in. Whoa. <laughs> Was that okay, Jay? Am I yeah. allowed to let go of the snake you when it's coming right at you me? You shouldn't. So what you do okay, is you talk just. To me. Okay. So when you pick it up like that, just yep. turn. If it strikes, just turn. Turn away. All right. Then cool. you, you see like a gun. See, just go the opposite way. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Let's turn. Very cool. Yeah. You just don't want her to slam on the ground. Yeah. Right? Get pick her up a little bit higher. There you go. And then if she's, she's going to probably strike that way. Oh, bit of silk. She's just trying to strike backwards. All right. So you're going to have to choke up on her a little bit and then go ahead and lift that front half. She's heavy from the back end, guys. All right. All right. Good deal, man. Beautiful. Yay. You graduated, you graduated buddy. with honors. Oh, thank you so much. You well, know? He was already the graduate. I'm just following along after a good time. We're having fun. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. We got good news today on this snake. Follow his channel and all my friends that showed up today. And thank you very much. Good news. Very I, happy. I can't wait to hear that it slammed a rat or awesome. a bunny. <laughs> See ya.